Praise be Jesus Christ. Today's epistle explain how God oftentimes chooses the weak and things that seem worthless in order to bring about good in this world. And we see that's exactly what he did with the saint we celebrate today, Saint Rose of Viterbo. <clears throat> saint Rose between the ages of 10 and 15, would go around her hometown with a crucifix in her hand, preaching penance. And she brought about many, many conversions. At the same time, she worked miracles. So we see how God decided to use her, and you know, rather than some intelligent preacher or scholastic, or even the local bishop. God chooses to use people, secondary instruments, to bring about good in this world. He doesn't want to do it all himself, although he could. In fact, every soul that is in the state of grace is an instrument in God's hands. And every soul who lives habitually in God's grace, God will use infallibly to be a means of grace for other people. And the Catechism explains how we can willingly enter into God's plan of salvation in this world. That is an incredible thing. You know, a privilege that we have as human beings, given an intellect and a free will, that the other creatures cannot do but we can freely enter in to God's plan of salvation. St. Maximilian explains how, in a certain sense, we become omnipotent. We participate in God's omnipotence. In a certain sense, we become infallible. That is, when we freely enter into God's plan and doing his will in this world, because what can resist God's will, says St. Maximilian? And the scripture says the same thing. Nothing can resist his will. <clears throat> and so beyond living habitually in a state of grace, we need to seek God's will in our lives. You know, with personal inspirations that we might have, we need to check to see if, the, if they are authentic with regard to what we know objectively to be God's will, the Ten Commandments, the duties of our state in life, the counsels of our spiritual director, etc. Because we know these things are certainly the will of God, and if our own personal inspiration goes contrary to it, well, then we know that that is not the will of God. <clears throat> and we should not get caught up about results either. And we see in the life of St. Rose that there were great results. There was evident fruit from her mission as a childhood preacher. But we don't need to worry about that. St. Faustina says that God is not concerned about positive results. What we need to do is have that simple intention of always doing his will as best as we know it. Again, never being contrary to what we know objectively to be the will of God, but as best as we know it and as best as we can do it. Have the simple intention of pleasing God. If we do that, then we can have a moral certainty that we are in fact carrying out his will. Because if God wants us to do his will, more than we do, then all we have to do is put forth that small effort to actually carry out the will of God. Can we really think that a soul who sincerely wants to carry out God's will in this world, would God leave him in the darkness 
and allow him to go astray, it's impossible. <clears throat> so as I was saying, we don't need to uh, get discouraged if we see very little results because those results are not important to God. I was mentioning St. Faustina. She, of course, had the mission of promoting the divine mercy, and her spiritual director was to work with her in promoting the divine mercy. Well, he was running into all kinds of obstacles, and it wasn't going anywhere. And so St. Faustina asked our Lord, Lord, if you want this, why are you allowing so many difficulties and so many failures to come up? And our Lord said, I, am, I do not give the reward for positive results, but for the patience and suffering endured for me. So we don't need to concern ourselves with positive results. Let God worry about that. Just as St. Paul says, God gives the increase. Okay, man plants the seeds and does the work assigned to him. God gives the increase. Let God worry about positive results. Let's just worry about our part, doing our part as best as we can. St. Rose of Viterbo, pray for us. Thank you.